Hey, uh, <coughs> welcome to, uh, what the fuck? Um, Friday morning, I'm off to uh, a lot soon. I am, um, and I just spilled an entire <coughs> mug of coffee all over myself, and uh, it's been that kind of morning. Um, uh, hence the uh, topless video. <laughs> Uh, trust me, you don't want to <clears throat> see anything below. Um, what's going on? We, uh, casting, casting news, any casting news? Um, uh, CCH Pounder. Uh, uh, guest star this season. Uh, very excited about that. Um, had, uh, uh, actually tried to get to CC, I think season four we had a role, and, uh, and she was, uh, I think she was shooting a movie, or she was in, she was in France, I believe, um, so, uh, yeah, really excited, uh, I love CC, um, just, uh, and I was explaining, <coughs> I had a meeting with, um, uh, Kim Dickens, uh, who's also a guest star this season, and, uh, sort of explaining to her the process for these guest stars is we have a, you know, we have a pretty good handle on who these characters are and how they, you know, how they uh, move the narrative forward uh, uh, with, uh, with our main cast. And, um, but more often than not, because we have, I have such a huge ensemble of, uh, of, of actors and characters already that it's very difficult um, uh, unlike a show like perhaps um, Dexter where it has it has one main character and 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 I, I don't um, I haven't watched that show the last couple seasons but previously they would bring on a main um, sort of antagonist and and that character would almost be uh, it would almost become a two-hander and uh, we don't really have the luxury to do that on the show because we have such a, a, a big uh, and a fantastic cast. So more often than not, the seasonal characters at least begin, um, you know, quite frankly, somewhat two-dimensional. You know, they're they're a bit of a thumbnail sketch. And my secret weapon in all that is really just hiring, you know, tremendous actors uh, uh, like Kim and. Um, like Donald and uh, and obviously uh, like la like we did last season <clears throat> with uh, Jimmy Smith. You know, I had that same conversation with Jimmy, and uh, uh, and uh, and what it allows me to do is sort of hand over the um, the blueprint of a character to an actor, and uh, and and then we sort of discover who that person is together and. By the, by the choices they make, by the questions they ask. Um, you know, as they begin to interpret it, I begin to understand their interpretation. And, uh, and this really sort of cool mm, symbiotic thing kind of happens where we find the character together. And, uh, and pretty much by mid-season, you know, depending on the, the depth of uh, the story, I have a pretty good handle on, uh, on who these people are. And, and hopefully shortly thereafter they begin to get more well-rounded and 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 three-dimensional uh, i think that's the case of uh uh, uh of nero you know i feel like by uh, by the end of last season i really had a pretty good three-dimensional view of who that guy was and what his needs and desires and wants were um <clears throat> you know with the help of jimmy i really began to understand you know the the in the intricacies of his backstory, and uh, um, so we begin more often than not with uh, these seasonal characters in that early stages, and uh, uh, you know, and then I hire tremendous actors like Kim and, and like Cece, who then uh, you know can take um, what I feel is good writing on the page, 
but they they know what to bring to it. They can fill it up. They can make those choices. They can layer those interpretations um, and uh, uh, and do the the work that they do that um, gives the character uh, more depth um, and and continues to inform me who they are. And uh, it's a great process. It's a lot of fun and uh, it doesn't work all the time, but uh, more often than than not, it really does. So. Um, um, that's what's going on there. Uh, casting wise, I think we have a couple more, couple more things happening, um, that, uh, we'll announce soon. Um, we're working on, the. I mentioned briefly about a companion piece for Sons and, uh, I'm, I'm not being, uh, uh, intentionally, uh, obtuse about that, uh. I just, uh, I don't really have all that much information yet. I just know that, you know, it's something I've been pitching uh, and, you know, and uh, I know how this is going to sound, but, you know, I, I it's why I, I've been pitching it for about three seasons now and the, before um, The Talking Dead happened. And, uh, and, and the great thing about The Talking Dead is that it, it you know, that companion piece it was so symbiotic and and worked so well it really helped me then continue to sell the idea for sons with the success of that so I that's a it's a great companion piece and I and I, uh, I actually thank them for uh, uh, <laughs> for fueling my uh, uh, my needs and desires here and uh, so we're gonna do something it's it's not going to be our version of the talking sons of anarchy it'll be different um uh, i think it'll have a, a, a um you know some uh uh some component of it will be looking at episodes but i think there'll be a lot of other things uh uh connected with it and uh i don't think it'll be initially it won't be an on-air thing it'll probably most likely be some sort of internet um, uh, based project, um, and uh, and then as far as you know, and where it goes from there, uh, will will be, will be determined. Um, uh, um, that's as vague as I can be on that. Uh, what else? Uh, read through for uh, episode six oh two today, which we start filming. Uh, I think we have some crossover days where we we're finishing up one and beginning to uh, the next, uh, uh, in the early next week. Um, so episode one is coming to a close. We begin shooting episode two next week. Uh, writers, uh, I mean, actors got uh, their draft of uh, episode 603 yesterday. And, uh, um, and I should uh, finish up my draft of 604 this weekend. Um, so, uh, I think we're on time. We're uh, we're a little behind, um, as I said last week. Uh, <clears throat> um, episode 605 traditionally is one of those episodes that uh, uh, takes a few weeks to break because things keep shifting and changing. And uh, um, but I believe that's uh, uh, that's in the stages of of a writer's draft, and uh, we uh, we've begun to break episode 606. Um, that's it. Uh, I will, uh, next time I do this, I, I promise I'll have a shirt on. Um, uh, and, uh, I think my keyboard is dead too, but, um, uh, the mouse was working. That's it. I will, uh, um, do I have any, I didn't answer any questions today and, uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm really not going to. So, uh. Um, I will, uh, try to do another, uh, Q and A, uh, on, um, Tuesday night. Thanks.